Kuzik Law gets better settlements for its clients. Kuzik Law's expertise is critical in getting the best settlement for the client. We know the right letters to send, we know the right things to say, we know how to put the insurance companies in a great deal of risk if they don't pay what they're supposed to pay, a fair and equitable settlement. The Kuzik method gets victims healthy and back to their normal lives quicker. The methodology used here is one that I've never seen in any other law firm, probably doesn't exist in any other, any other law firm, um, and it gets better settlements for sure because I think the insurance companies fear things that we can do that other law firms don't do. We have different departments and it's run in an assembly line fashion. And different people within our office handle specific phases of the cases. There's a new case administrator that signs the person up, uh, orders the police report and the records, and makes sure the car is, is inspected. Property damage department helps uh, get the car uh, settled and squared away and fixed. And insurance companies are notorious for cheating every, every person on, who has a total loss of about three to five thousand dollars. And so we protect them from that. We have a property damage person, several of them, that negotiate uh, the vehicle, property damage, gets the rental reimbursement, loss of use of the vehicle if that's applicable. We can make sure that uh, towing, storage fees are all covered. A lot of attorneys don't have people. We don't even charge for that. That's just something that we do because if we do that at the beginning stages of a case, the insurance company's going to know we know what we're doing. We're not going to settle for less than full value. We're going to go for things that other attorneys don't even think of. They know they're going to have a tiger by the tail. So right out of the gate, they know who they're dealing with. We get as much as we can, and then we help the client go to small claims court to get the rest of the money, and the small claims court judges have been given that money. Uh, I don't know of any other lawyer who does that. They just take whatever money the insurance company gives them for the car. Kuzik forces the insurance companies to pay for the full and fair value of fixing or replacing your car long before the case is completely settled. And then the case goes to a medical manager who follows through with the doctors and the treatment and makes sure the person is going, that it's helpful, the doctors need tests, make sure that that gets handled. And if a specialist is needed, then it, it gets sent to a specialist uh, so that uh, by the time the case is ready to be settled, all the medical problems have been addressed. When the person's done treating, all the bills, records, documents, reports are packaged up, sent to the insurance company, and then the file goes to one of the negotiators. And we've got five or six negotiators who do nothing but negotiate, and they negotiate every case uh, twice a month. And the negotiators, the one person sending the letters, making the phone calls, you know, trying to negotiate the settlement with the case. Um, all of that is supervised by Walt Kuzik, and again, uh, the attorneys here, we have round table the files as well to, with an eye towards value and to help you know, evaluate these cases. Uh, and then if it can't settle through all of that, then we would file the lawsuit and the file would come to one of the litigators here in the office, and that's when I would see the file. Um, a lot of the time, though, I'm involved in these files uh, earlier on, as are the other attorneys here, because there's things that come up during the course of a case uh, that you know might need some, some specialty or special expertise. The Kuzik method was developed to get the victim the best results possible in the shortest amount of time possible. Our property damage people deal with property damage nonstop. You know, nine, nine to five, five days a week, that's all that they're doing. And they're, so they're talking to the same body shops. They're talking to the same property damage adjusters and appraisers. Uh, they develop rapport. Um, uh, they streamline the process. We found that this team-oriented approach makes the cases move quicker and more efficiently so we can get the resolution and the settlement that the client deserves faster. We've got a letter for every occasion, you know. I mean, push a couple buttons for the last stupid thing the adjuster said and boom, the letter's fired out. Um, 
and we have got such uh, the, the practices as of such a size that we don't have to capitulate to the first offer, the third offer, the fifth offer, the tenth offer. We've got legs. We can hold out. We can push for more. We can always push for more. Uh, to the consternation of most insurance adjusters, they just don't understand why we're so stubborn and don't take the money that 99 out of another other 100 attorneys would jump at. To us, it's not good enough because we know we can get more and we know we can push for more. And our goal is to get what could reasonably be anticipated at time of arbitration or trial without having to go through the time and expense of arbitration or trial. And if we get a number in that ballpark, we're going to recommend it. Kuzik Law has negotiators with many years' experience applying the Kuzik method. All of our negotiators are very experienced in exactly what they do, uh, which is negotiating auto accident claims, or you know, we also do some slip and falls, dog bite cases, but liability cases, negotiating liability cases with insurance carriers. They've all of them got decades of experience, so they're very good at what they do. That Mr. Kuzik taught the negotiators and the staff, as well as the lawyers, how to deal with adjusters, how to deal with insurance companies, how to deal with attorneys in the personal injury arena. And there are letters, negotiation letters, that go out on a weekly basis on all the cases. And so we wear the insurance company down to where they make good offers. When we get the good offer, uh, that's when the case finishes. Every person that has worked in this office in, in, uh, as a negotiator or as an attorney has had substantial experience before they came here. Everyone thinks they knew a lot about personal injury, but once they came here and learned what Mr. Kuzik had to teach them, their level went from here to here because Mr. Kuzik has ways of doing things that no other law firm does. Um, and he's so smart and uh, the methods they use here work very, very well. We have meetings where we bring in doctors, uh, where we have, um, of all different specialties, explain their specialty, go over MRIs, uh, um, go over uh, anatomy and how injury causation occurs. Um, myself and the other litigators here are always um, willing and able to give counsel to the negotiators. Uh, Walt Kuzik is directly involved with the negotiators, uh, not only in instructing, but also supervising and managing what goes on. 95% of the cases get settled uh, without having to go into litigation for a fair amount, and only 5% end up going into litigation for trial. If all else fails, Kuzik goes to court. Here at Kuzik Law, we make every attempt to try to negotiate a settlement of our client's claim without having to file a lawsuit or actually go to court. But some cases, when we're not able to do that, we file a lawsuit and then it would come to the litigation department. Before we file a, a lawsuit, we do sit down with the people that's been handling it in the pre-litigation department and we get their take on the case because they've had the case typically for about 21 months before one of the lawyers would ever see the case. And um, so yeah, they have a lot of insight. So we ask about that because they've, they've talked to the clients, they've dealt with the clients, and they know what's been ailing them, what, you know, what are their main injuries, and what they want to accomplish in this case. So yeah, we do talk to them, get their insight, and, and how to move forward. The first step of the Kuzik litigation method is to file the lawsuit. At this point, the insurance company knows we take things a little more seriously and we're going to push it as far as we can. If we have to go to trial, we'll go to trial. And they know once it gets litigation, it's going to cost them a lot more money. And, you know, we're prepared to do that. We, at Kuzik Law, we will stand behind our client 100%. We will hire the experts. Um, we will take all the depositions we need to take. And we will push it as far as we can. And if it, like I said, if it means trial, we'll go to trial. The beginning of the litigation process is not an end to negotiating a pre-trial settlement. Of the 5 to 10% of our overall cases that we actually have to file a lawsuit on because we couldn't get the case settled at full value, 
of those cases, um, a small percentage of those will wind up all the way in front of a jury. Most cases will resolve either through continued negotiations, uh, at a settlement conference, uh, at mediation. We always put ourselves in a position to try to settle a case short of going to trial. And the, the best way we do that is by aggr being aggressive during the litigation and pushing it towards trial. The more prepared we are, the more ammunition we have, that they see, okay, Kuzik Law is serious. They're going to take this to trial, A. And then B, they have ammunition that could hurt us, where they could get a big verdict. So when they see those things happening, they're the ones that typically say, let's go to mediation to see if we can resolve this. Client gives a good deposition, opportunity to resolve. Defendant gives a bad deposition, opportunity to resolve. Um, written discovery responses, maybe something pops up that uh, makes the defendant even more of a bad guy than we thought. Another opportunity to resolve. So there's a lot of different jumping off points during the course of even a litigated case that present uh, an opportunity to settle the case. And we're always uh, pushing those opportunities uh, for all they're worth. You know, if we can get the case settled and not have to hire a bunch of experts, cost that comes out of the client's share, then we're going to push for that. Kuzik brings only the best experts to testify. I know at Kuzik Law, I have the backing of my firm. If I need to hire an expert for whatever reason in my case, there's never a question whether I can do so. I don't need to ask for a permission. If, if I need an expert, a medical expert or a biomechanical expert or whatever it might be, um, we have the right to go do that. One of the things we like to do is use treating experts. A treating doctor uh, that treated the patient and, and use them as our expert, they're the ones that actually had their hands in our client. They examined our client. They had the MRIs done. They did the surgery, for example. They're in the best position to um, testify at court what actually happened as opposed to some hired gun. That, that's all the defense can do is use a hired gun. So we try to use our, the treating doctors as much as possible. But if we have to go outside and hire what's called a retained expert, someone who did not treat the patient, um, we have no problem doing that, which is a really nice benefit working here at Kuzik Law. The Kuzik lawyers apply the best strategy based on the opponent they are going to trial against. It really depends on the case, you know. I mean, sometimes, and it really depends on the jury. You know, where are we at? I mean, there's a lot of nuance here. Um, sometimes you want to have uh, a defense table stacked with four lawyers and go in there solo. The jury's going to look and say, well, this doesn't seem like a fair fight. You know, what's going on here? You know, that actually could be a good thing. If you've been around in the litigation process for as long as the lawyers have here at Kuzik Law, you get to know the process, you get, and you know who you're dealing with, whether it's a young adjuster or someone who's very seasoned, a young lawyer or someone who's very seasoned. Some things, some, some strategic items you can play with a very young lawyer, you won't get away with with a very experienced lawyer. Um, so yeah, you look at some of those things. It's all strategy, yeah, from day one. Um, I mean, the decision to file a lawsuit is strategy, and then what to do with it after that, you know, serving the lawsuit, serving an offer to compromise, taking the depots and written discovery, and you know, it, it, there's, there's always a large plan um, with a lot of little, you know, pieces of, that need to be accomplished. They're not all the same, you know, there's different complexities to every case, and it seems like just when you think, you know, you, you know it all, then all of a sudden something new comes across the desk, it's like, whoa. You know, well, how do I handle this? You know, and um, there's always somebody that knows how to handle it. You know, there's always somebody that's got experience on that exact thing, even if it's some little minutia that uh, you never learned about in law school or in practice. You know, sometimes something new crops up, and uh, you know, fortunately, we do have a lot of experienced attorneys here that, uh, that have either seen it directly firsthand or know how to handle it. So we get a lot. Of, we 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 help each other a lot.